This is a fantasy world, where a hundred players will be simulating civilization trying to stay alive. Within these lands, there's dangerous creatures, bandits, and even things that players have no idea about. This civilization event is actually joinable. All you have to do is join our Discord server linked below. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. This is the 100 players simulate a fantasy civilization in Minecraft. Day 1, the release. Players begin by waiting waking up at their campsite. Yeah, all 100 of them. Let's show you guys around. We'll begin with the campsite, also known as Spawn. The bridge, the anomaly, the trench, and lastly, the kingdom. This time was meant to establish teams, claim some land around Spawn's kingdom, and to prepare for the election that'll happen two days from now. And these are real life days, by the way. As players explore outwards past the bridge, they uncover an open cave, practically begging them to loot it up before anyone else can. As you can see, this this cave system goes on for ages. It's not even loading up at the bottom for me. It even goes as far down as to the skulk areas. Hope none of the newbies end up spawning the warden down there. That would be pretty bad. Those who weren't lucky enough to find the cave systems decide mining normally was the way to go. And that says something, because I can't decide on things even if my life depended on it. We soon find two people that are thinking about becoming the king already. Make sure that we all have rights and uh, we have great food. And if anybody uh, likes to oppress, we, we kill them. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. What? Yeah, that's not that good. idea. I will also include dance parties, disco balls, and maybe a tavern or a bar. And this I'll build is, uh, my own McDonald's franchise. Oh, I was waiting for my boys, and then we're, we're setting up for my journey. I have no boys, so I'm hoping to make some friends. You're welcome. Oh, look at them coming together. Remember this plot of land? This is where the central of the spawn city will be. So it really is first come, first serve, just like the 13 colonies. Something I forgot to mention is that there's unique structures they're able to find all over over the world like this skull castle that they ended up finding underground dude this looks demonic bro what i can't see the inside of it but the outside looks incredible can't even lie look at that that is sick. Soon, they enter the Iron Age, although it's not full sets, but they definitely are progressing. I wanted to take a look into the trenches, which is right below the bridge by spawn. Hi. What you working on? Uh, I've been breaking this, like, claim for, like, since the start. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a good spot, though. Yeah. Originally, it was like a little cave, and then, well, no, it's not really at all. Yeah, it's not a cave anymore. <laughs> I then find one of the first notable teams, Team Fallers which is a mixture of Team Ballers and Team French from the old Civilization events of mine, Eopoke being one of their leaders. Deshi is the other leader, which used to be the leader of the French. Moving back to spawn, I decided to spawn in an axolotl for the masses. And when I say masses, I mean five people that showed up. The same amount of people that remembered my birthday this year. DJ Girl ended up trying to bring it back to her home and to her base by merely pushing it, but she ended up using a lead to take it back. Little did she know, a bandit was actually sneaking up behind her to snatch the axolotl right in front of her very eye. Oh my god. Did he kill him? Oh, it got snatched. It got snatched. Oh my gosh. At this point, the server was actually full and maxed out. 100 people managed to get in, and around 70 people were stuck on the wait list for someone to disconnect. A menace to society decided to troll the masses by saying if people were to disconnect from the server, they will get some free diamonds. <laughs> no way they said relog for diamonds, bruh. <laughs> That stuff's not gonna happen, it's just not true. 10 to 20 people ended up disconnecting right when they said that. All the players on this server is this man's experimental subjects. What a psycho. And that's coming from me. I literally put 100 people in random challenges and give them PTSD. Like, bro. Not too soon after, Mello ends up joining. The reason why this is important is more for later on, but it's the start to something big. Dude, the yeah. reason you guys oh got God, in is because someone in chat said, yo, if you disconnect, you get diamonds. <laughs> On that? <laughs> yeah! No like 20 people them, left! No. Thank the lord, let's go. Hey, thank you, bro, thank you. Yo, this for, is sick. Mello and his team Legion decided to make a base at a village that they found off on the side of a different mountain not too far away. The safer teams decided to make underground bases rather than showing their whereabouts to everyone, but it doesn't prevent people from using that god dang pie graph. Some also discover the lava caves. Be careful, buddy. There were also ruins of old civilizations that they discovered all around the world. Even more structures 
barriers are explored as the more time that passes by. There were those that ended up making bridges of their own, since the terrain wasn't the easiest to go through due to the trenches below them. This is a team that began to build their own base up. We'll call them Team B for now. Okay, I don't know how far away this is. They have a farm too, this is cool. Oh my god, it has like a little pattern. Zoro began to scout out their place with the intentions of blowing their base up, so I provided him with a few explosives. I kind of want to blow their base up. Oh. But I don't have TNT. What the? Thank you, oh. gods. I I love you I so love much. God. After receiving these explosives, he then went on top of the hill to meet up with the team that he wanted to blow up. Hi, guys. Guys, get wait, no. Don't hurt him. He's just a poor man. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you guys. I just want to ask a question. But does this guy have what it takes to blow them up? You know, it's not easy doing this kind of stuff. So wait, oh, can I join your guys' team? Hurt, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I just got attacked. Someone just axe critted me. I'm scared. That's fine. We're not really He's like right there. He's like right there. Calm. He's calmed down. Oh, thanks for the bucket, bro. bro. I was going down from that mountain and I, I almost died because I didn't have a bucket. See, well, see that, that's yeah, your yeah. bucket of courage now. Uh, you keep that. My bucket of courage. Yep. Okay, guys, guys hear, hear me out. I was actually going to do something way more devious. You guys are kind of nice. Now let's go to your base. I'm joking. I'm joking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we're trying to be, I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, I don't know about them. It seems we've somehow ended up making a sort of alliance between these guys. I wonder how long will it actually last though? Let's take a look at Team Fallers. They ended up uncovering a hidden cottage underground. Yeah, nobody saw it. I just found his house. Whoa, wait, what is that? I don't know how or why this thing ended up underneath the ground, but it did. Their team was prioritizing exploring before everything is taken by the randoms, which is actually quite a smart strategy. Oh, oh yeah, this is a mandrake. Poor guy's just slumping. Soon, day two will begin, which will be the time of the election. Most of the big teams are applying to become the new king or queen of the SMP. Back above ground, there's a huge kingdom that was soon discovered by some people known as Solstice. This place had it all. I'd even say there's a about 20 fully built structures all in one area. They decide to make this main area in with the castle right in the center of all of it. So you guys remember Team B, the one with Zoro in it? Yeah, well, they began to explore as a unit. Their leader is now known as the British Jarve, which is then gonna turn into the White Knights, but that's for later. They began to smelt up some stuff before they dive into this cave. The election is tomorrow. Only one team so far has been spreading word about their campaign. Just to give you guys an understanding as to how much is happening all at once here, We'll just take you down the experience of a new person entering the simulation. This is my good friend Akai. Slash kit food. Ah, nothing like arteries. My favorite. <laughs> it's not an injury. It's just a few without the arteries. Nice. Let's go. And got some land near spawn. And then decided to join a coalition dedicated to go against Team Fallers. This coalition was led by Flip and Cheese. The reason this happened is apparently Raymond, a player that used to be part of their team, betrayed their team and joined up with Team Fallers. Fallers also after Raymond joined them them ended up jumping them and killing them off let's check out what this group is up to i don't know they just, i was just chilling there trying to smelt my iron and this dude comes up to me he's like get the hell out of my base and then he kills me no i'm not i hate that team soon after flip and cheese show up at the fallers base basically naked to show them a piece of their mind but it completely backfires careful quiet they're over there wait let's go see if they have any loot they're sneaking up. Oh my god, they're in yeah, Baller's territory. I don't really know what their plan was here, but I don't think they thought this through. We gotta go! Wait, we gotta go! What? Go, let's go! Bro, oh my god, kill this man. They tried jumping EOP. Dude, what? That's the kid. That's the guy. That's the kid. That's the kid. That's the kid. We gotta run. Oh. We gotta run. Oh, EOP is going down for them. Bro, 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 I didn't do anything. We're just trying to mine here, man. Hey, look, we won't do any harm. We're just trying to mine here, okay? Are we allowed to? They were kind of struggling, so Akai ended up going down there himself to resolve everything. What is this dude doing here? Oh, you guys oh, what the hell? So what are you guys doing? We're, we're trying to mine here, but Poker keeps trying to kill us because he's an anarchist. He killed me. Oh. Wait, well maybe I should help. Oh. What the frick? Wait, no. I Yo, wait, wait, wait. They're jumping him. They're jumping him. Wait, if he dies, I'm taking his loot. I'm taking his loot and dipping. Watch. But Team Fallers cleans them up like they were nothing. Akai took the time to do some sightseeing, and he noticed something on top of the mountain. Yo, look at the mountain. The one on top over there? There's like a symbol up there. Wait, look, where? Those oh people? my god. Jeez. 
That looks majestic, bro. I head back to the coalition's base. I'm gonna teleport to 100 oh, kids. 100 kids, what team are you on? What team are you on? Uh, I am on Kidnappers. Kidnappers is crazy. With a name like it's that. Amazing. Akai also went by to meet Team Legion and Melo, the leader of Team Legion. Seems like the Legion's place is really coming together. Let's get you guys accustomed to some of the major teams that are starting to establish here. Team Fallers, Team Legion, Team Kidnappers, Team Chicken Butt, and Team Big Happy Family. There are definitely more out there that I just haven't seen much of. Team Chicken Butt is out there in the bluish biome. There are a few houses being built in this area. Whoa, this is cool. I like the biome you guys picked. You want to come see our little yeah, troll? Yeah, I, I did all this. Work, <laughs> yeah, sure. By the way. They, all right, we actually were useless. <laughs> Bro, Adrian's here to see you, Mr. Troll. Oh, wow. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> We're chicken butt. That, that's actually your your, your team called team chicken Yo, butt. Boy, chicken butt. Hell yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Go for VR. Oh, VR is running for king. Yeah. Ah, that's sick. Wait, what is this? Diplomatic room. Oh, this is sick. Okay, this is cool. Ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, good try. Good try, buddy. Funny enough, Akai ended up getting prisoned by the Big Happy Family base of operations. We're trying to kill these kids in our house. Yeah, just get not out. Adrian, you're stuck here now. You live with us. So, I think I'm getting kidnapped. It's like 50 um, people the in my team's house. name is, I name is yeah, Big Happy Family. family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is this guy? Yeah. He's not a team. You gotta ask them for help, bro. You're in their territory now. <laughs> Hey, uh, so, uh, guys, can I get something? Anybody want to help a brother out? <laughs> and just look at the treatment that he got. Hey, what's your team name, guys? What's up, Nagi? You're renovating my place for me, dog? Amazing guy. Yeah, respects. You're not really showing me respect right now. I don't think you understand. I will be the future king. If you do this now, understand what I'll do to you later. <laughs> That's our pet, dog. This is our pet. I don't want to shit for me. Drown him. Drown him. Run, 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 run. Oh. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, oh my gosh. You had your opportunity. <laughs> the one time he escaped, he ended up at their basement trapped again. This experience is really looking rough on him. He's just kind of caught in the crossfires of it all. Akai isn't the only victim to this madness on this SMP. There were others just like him. Even teams like Scythers also trapped people and vetted them for information or just their gear. Zeph, I know you're a better man than this. You're stuck in yeah. uh, you're stuck it's okay. Let's not talk to him. Let's just ignore him. No, let me read you a book yo folded soup you enjoying your prison sentence you like it yeah i love it in here uh let me wait let me let me read you a book as i die here draw me your entire armor set i'll let you out okay well, i don't want to get out everything I like you own, i'll let you out all right you, i'm giving you I'm, five minutes to make a choice so i got five minutes to find a book either you give me everything in inventory and i kill you or or you're stuck here for the rest of your life and you can't do anything else site there is interesting this is their base i don't know what this is they're making a little castle thing that's kind of cool they got farms they're by this like huge structure looking thing it's pretty neat too this is a sick cave i don't know who found this place but this is crazy oh my god i think i see the reason they built here jesus there's a huge structure being made at the peak of one of the mountains this thing just honestly looks majestic i decided to be nice there was a small team of friendly people hanging out and i decided to give them a polar bear and they decided to name it greg what a nice name not too long after this then marked the end of day one i hopped off for the day irl and went to sleep this is where things took a turn for the worst. This always happens with stuff that I make. I wake up to messages left and right. There's a few things that ended up going down. Let me take you down this rabbit hole one god dang thing at a time. First, players are able to use a plugin that gives them a golden shovel. They were to use this golden shovel to claim their land. And for some reason, for five minutes, the claim system bugged out and disabled itself, leaving people's bases free to raid, but more importantly, leaving spawn free to raid. Like, why? How does a plugin fail on me? Luckily, the damage wasn't too bad, though. Second, there was another plugin known as the Kingdoms plugin, which for some reason was a bit broken. Team Fallers ended up disbanding their kingdom. Doing so also lost them all access to their claims, and they couldn't unclaim where they lived. So Solstice ended up utilizing this, which, based above Fallers, ended up griefing them while they were dealing with this kingdom situation. Third, player by the name of Marie ended up getting lava casted in her house 
house got destroyed. Despite all of the chaos, there was actually something I was introduced to. It seemed like there was a cult growing. Realized it was ran by the people that I gave a polar bear to. The potato religion want to ask you a question. Yeah, it's a... Real quick. My gang! religion so far. Yeah, sure. Take me to it. Those are potatoes. The base. Come to the potato commandments. Potato commandments. This way. Do we have a spare sacred potato to give to him? Oh, is this where you guys live? Small little caves. Okay. Oh. Almost worship the great potato. Read the commandments. Oh. The commandments of the great potato. Thou shall not eat anything but potato. You must worship the great potato. You must kill for the potato. Uh, what was I getting myself into? He's a potato man. Can, can yes. you, like, get him to hear the potato? Potatoes. You want me to let him hear the potatoes? Yes, yes. And then okay, he can decide if he wants to join potatoism or not. H hear the potatoes? You're gonna enjoy this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Sacrifice! Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this one is very popular. Uh, potatoes did not demand that sacrifice. Hear yeah. the potatoes. I, I oh my god. We command all. We are all things. We make you. We make everything. <laughs> all things come forth from the great potato. From us. Love that potato. All things at the end. That is crazy. So glad I'm here in this religion. I'm gonna convert all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so Jesus. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> You're the Pope. You're the potato yeah. Pope. I'm for Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's for Jesus. Can I can yes. I be the honorary oh, sponsor of this potato? Oh yo, yes. let's go. Can you give us we need potato. a sponsor. And then out of nowhere, I was being accused of crimes. What? I'm not a felon. Also, Adrian's, are you the person that gave us a polar bear? Maybe. Yesterday. Oh <gasps> maybe. <laughs> he gave us Greg. We're worshiping oh. that bear, like it's our mascot. Oh. <gasps> and as their sponsor, I gave them a bunch of potatoes. They yeah, that bear's now our oh. mascot. I hopped on yesterday, I went into slash vanish, and I just went to random teams you guys were actually talking like there's some teams that just sit there in silence they have mics oh, they're just man. not talking to each oh. other but you guys were talking <laughs> so i'm like you know what let me give you guys a polar bear and i was giving like <laughs> maria a bunch of flowers and stuff it was fun <gasps> oh oh my god yeah we love marie, marie kept getting <laughs> oh marie's been getting greased all night is she the yeah. one that got lava casted yeah yeah, yeah. oh my dude oh, that was so, so mean i saw the screenshots of that oh. bro why it's just some random person don't know why this house is burning down and this is what potato town looks like at the moment the reason it's important is because you'll see what it looks like at the very end and as soon as i thought everything was starting to go somewhat back to normal a fourth issue emerged so it just so happens that there was a little bit of an issue with the smp setup there there was a command that one of the plugins allowed all players that played to use. The reason why that's even a problem is because it pretty much doxes your IP. Yeah. One unlucky player ended up being DDoSed in the process of a kingdom dispute. Why should it even go to that extreme? But real talk though, the problem was shortly fixed. Post all of this headache, some alliances were made in order to fight against the more aggressive teams, such as Team Scythers and Team Solstice. The alliance was known as the Great Alliance, which brought Team Chicken Butt, Team Legion, Team Ballers, and Team French under one alliance. Later in the day on day two, the election was on. This is what I like to call the preliminary election. Essentially, one person per team may apply to the election. It's first come, first serve. We'll be putting the people who apply onto a poll, allowing people on the Discord server to vote for which candidate they want as their new king or queen. Each candidate was given one sentence that they stand by and also why they'd be fit for becoming the new king or queen. As you can see, there were a lot that applied, but only eight of them were allowed to be a part of the final election selection. And that rhyme. These eight final contestants will get the chance to have a five minute speech or presentation in order to convince the townspeople that they are worth their time and their votes. Let the voting commence. As you can see, these are the final eight contestants or teams that have received the highest votes. Let's move on to the Minecraft server. The townspeople ended up building what's known as the election podium. We'll be going down the list. First, Mello of Team Legion. What we want to do is, as king and as the I guess you could say leading group. What we want to do is just encourage peace and stop griefers, stop people from 
basically spreading hate to the S&P. And we just want to kind of encourage a pretty peaceful S&P without people like, for example, Blue. Because most of them, I hate to say it, I got a screenshot here. If anyone's curious, DM me. That says that Scythers and what's it called? Solstice Blue, they're teaming against us. So, and the owner of Solstice Soups, he's actually a Scyther. So electing him, I don't care what he says, it's going to bring Scythers in and it's going to bring hate. If you don't believe me, I have screenshots. I have screenshots if you don't believe me. But yeah, I'm not here to that. Uh, as king, I don't plan to conquer anything. I just want to kind of spread the peace. What I'm going to do is build a big capital city. So that way people can join, come into the city, come leave. We can set up trade routes throughout the whole place. I just want to kind of encourage a S&P that is toxic free. And that's, that's, this is what I'm gonna leave it at. So again, that was Mello from Legion. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is Eskos, which is filling in for his team's absent leader, Soup of Team Solstice. I am, e I am Eskos and I'm currently representing Soups, the leader of our group. Soups simply wants to re reassure that all kingdoms that have currently, that have currently been made should remain as they are. Soups praying. Um, plans to bring about no changes in terms of leadership will allow every kingdom to live in the same way. However, if the kingdom were to go on an attack and or grief another, then that kingdom will have to face punishment. Electing soups as king will allow every kingdom to keep their leaders and rulers the same. And I, I would also like to address Legion. Their allegations are wrong. We we are we seek peace just as they do, and uh, uh, electing soups will allow us to create a council of all other kings to uh, punish and vote on policies. These policies can be sub, uh, requested by the public. We will also work together to build and like a town square, just like Legion as well. Soups also has a lot of experience on events such as these. So with your cooperation, I would like I really think we should vote for Soups as he is a great leader. He is a ton of experience and he wants to build a peaceful kingdom as groups have been looking to only benefit their own members our proposal hopes to that both our enemies and ally um, allies can come together and resolve our differences whether large or small then eo poke of team fallers despite him being sick he still showed up to give a speech respectable like i'm currently feeling very sick but i wanted to persevere and you know be here for the election i wanted to because I feel if I didn't show up to the election, and if I wasn't, you know, wasn't here, it would make me a weak leader. I know a lot of you probably down there hate me, like Solstice. Solstice hates me a lot. They've gone and griefed my base, you know. They claimed our base as well. They they claimed to be all about peace. Well, they've tried to take over our land. They came down, destroyed our base. Our base we had been working on. We had a book. There's a book that stopped us from claiming stuff. And they exploited that. They are warmongers. They claim to be nice. We don't want war, yes? I'm a bit of a dictator, but I'm not a tyrant. Like, you can say I should go to hell. That doesn't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter how many arrows you shoot at me. It doesn't matter what you do. I will do what's best for the SMP if you elect me. I know I won't, I probably will not win. But I hope that at least some of you vote for uh, Team Fathers to be the kings of the SMP. Coming up next is British Jar, leader of the now named White Knights. I know most of you guys don't like me because because I'm British and all British people are weird, but at least our little private team don't have to go for the big sheeps. All of you are just sheeps. You go follow the big teams so you don't have to worry about doing anything because you're all lazy, but the White Knights, we're hard. We we take dedication. And me as a king, I don't want to abuse my power. I do not I do not want to be like selfish. I just want to actually let you guys decide to do what you want because I do not like people being lazy. I want a community to do what they want. If you guys want your own decision and you guys want to make your own choices, please vote for the White Knights and vote for me to be king. Please and thank you. Ah! Then it was a tie between DJ Girl and Reef. So we let them both go since they both had the same amount of votes. This is Reef of Scythers. Hello, guys. I think we can all agree we do not want a British ruler. All right. Nobody's going to vote for that guy. Second of all, originally I was running for myself, right? I wanted to be my own like leader. But after looking at Soup's plan, I think it's really a solid plan for the server. From what he said, it looks very, very promising. And so I'm gonna withdraw from the election. And this is DJ Girl, and she's teamless. I, I got a presentation. Oh, it's. Oh, okay, no. okay. Everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just take it away. Okay, welcome to my presentation. Already, um, I'm really bad at English. I'm shaking. I'm really nervous. I don't like talking in public uh so this is my presentation this is me i'm not queen yet i'm quite nice i don't like killing people because i'm really bad at pvp so it's not fair if people try to kill me and i can't kill them um and i'm not queen yet like why why not okay this is me when i'm queen very amazing i'm online really often i don't really do anything else i got a minion army i don't really have my own team so i just let everyone join a random team i don't care i love everyone so and this is my beautiful dog Oweka. 
he needs to accept my friend request. So this is what I want. I want lore. I want to have people have fun. I want the people that are just new. I want them to have fun. I want to chill for the people that are gonna get punished. Uh, you could make your own shops. I would love that. Just money. Yeah, we want money. Yeah, the end. Vote for the pizza. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my presentation. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was DJ Girl of Team... Uh, no team at all. Uh, no team. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah, that's just DJ girl. Yeah, if you want to vote for DJ yeah. girl, there you go. If I, I, I'm the only queen, and I would love to just uh, ally with a king, so we could work together and just. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Second to last is Caleb, owner of Big Happy Family. I'm not really here to make a speech. I'm here to speak some, uh, speak some truth, speak some real. Um, you know, I can come on here. I can make you these bold face promises i can make you these hollow truths that you know these teams are saying that they think they're going to give you that you know isn't quite on their agenda you know i could have someone you know join this and then say that you know vote for me uh, oh just kidding i want you to vote for them i can tell you everything's going to be all right i can tell you that everything's going to be peaceful no there will be no wars people will be punished i could tell you all of that but i'm not because obviously that is not how things are going to page out and that's not how things are going to go how we deal with it is how we go um you know you see you're hearing some of these presentations i couldn't help but laugh because it's just so funny to hear people think that everyone is going to get along and get peaceful. You know if Team Legion wins, you know that the Ballers and Solstice or whatever other teams are going to get the less treatment and the, any, all those members are going to be way higher in whatever they got going on. You know, you know, vice versa. If Team Ballers win, you know everyone else on Solstice or in Legion are going to get lower treatment. And my team, in my big happy family, everyone is treated the exact same. If you do end up voting for me, I we are the underdog. We are the underdog to this vote. If you do end up wanting to vote for me, I will make sure that everyone is one big happy family. If one team is out of line, they will be held responsible and everyone on that team will be held responsible. Um, again, you don't want to stab your sisters in the back if you're a part of this family. If you stab your brothers or your sisters in the back, you know damn well we're going to give you the family treatment. But um, that's my promise. Vote for me if you want to. Vote for me if you don't want to. I already know no one's going to vote for me from Solstice or Legion or Buller or whatever the hell. But if you want to break away from the train, make your own path. Don't follow the same path already made. Follow a different path. Vote for me. Last but not least, Stuck NVR, owner of Chicken Butt. Hello. I know a lot of you are already looking at me and going, got your foghorn sound effects. I could already hear the boos. But when you vote for me, you're not really voting just for me. See, I like to see as myself as more of a group. In terms of team ballers and Legion and the French, we formed a great alliance and all of your votes, had they go to me, would be more towards all of them. So if anything, your vote towards me would be more of just a way to say, we we don't like we don't like uh scythers we don't we don't like solstice and i know i made a lot of enemies just by saying that but in full honesty i don't really care <laughs> and i could see all of you trying to get towards me and that was the end of the contestants who would you guys vote for like real talk for all of the things that have been said so far so after all of the speeches and presentations we ended up putting up the final election vote this is where it matters this will ensure which of the contestants would become the king or queen Queen of Spawn's Kingdom. After the votes were in, you can tell the two biggest teams were Legion and Solstice because they were both tied in votes. So I let them pop into a VC to basically, you know, have a discussion between each other. So, um, Adrian's basically let us have the reins on this one. So do you just want to talk about some stuff? Yeah. To be honest, this whole thing is separating us even more. We, we need I agree we need you. to all be together, enemies and allies. That, that's what Solstice hopes to create. Maybe that's what you hope to create. I don't know how what rank you are in the group, but I know the leader. I, I joined like a month ago. They are highly allied with the Scythers. And I think most people in the server know what they're capable of. And having a Solstice allied group with Scythers as the, as the reigning group, I guess you could say, you know what that's gonna lead to we, we hope to have all the teams be equal and see that's not what soups told me but i know a lot of people in adrian server don't like to be tied into these big powerful groups i know people like to have their own groups build farming groups like you know what i'm saying people like to kind of branch off on their own and and i can promise you no, you won't be disturbed and if anything happens all you have to do is just tell us and we will some of my teammates would like to speak too oh sure who, who do you want uh i guess one more i don't want it to get too chaotic can i bring oh, a different join yeah so i know some of you guys might be a bit confused even after hearing the conversation going on but just to summarize it essentially 
Legion and Solstice are one of the two top teams, and they're basically fighting for votes at the moment. Everyone in the VC, which is a stage VC, is around like 100 people. So they're all kind of listening in on this little conversation they're having, and they're going back and forth on their ideologies, alliances, and all sorts of stuff. So they asked for another person or someone to also represent them. So it's going to be a total of four people, including me, which is the fifth person. I just want to ask uh, Stubber, um, like you say, you want to have peace, but why did you guys attack um, the boulders in that case? Because they tell us I, you I was have not like there when that base. happened. I can, I can not confirm or deny that. That's the only reason I was to try to... Though I, I do know that there there must have been a reason. If if us as Legion, if we manage to like um, become the king of the server, like all you really want to do with that power is just make sure everyone has a fun experience and just like... We want the exact same. We want to work together to build a better Okay, I'm here. So wait, are you guys saying that we attacked Ballers? Uh, yeah, you attacked Baller, Ballers. When was that? So, okay, no, we have proof that you guys did. Maybe it wasn't you two specifically, but there was a branch of Solstice that did go and attack the Ballers. The Scythers came to our base and repeatedly killed two of our builders over and over and over and ransacked yes, the well. place and then we see the message that soups says solstice and scythers are teaming up against legion after we just got ransacked I, is that back really back. what Sorry, a weapon. peaceful group encouraging peace would do you're hey, teaming up you... with teams that are first of all ransacking and then obviously a team that no one likes with like i don't get why you guys would team with them though that's not us that's that's that soups. Is, you want a screenshot that's soups yeah that's the soups is who you're representing uh f <laughs> <laughs> no. said, that's not us, that's well, a few members came Ooh. to uh, one of the villages that we were in and started oh, pillaging and village? breaking everything. Wait, could we you give us a glimpse? Oh, was it yours though? If it's a public village, it, it was blamed. Spawned. Blamed? But it then how was it destroyed? It was not how could they grieve? We lived in a castle. Yeah, how could if they break it though if it was claimed? Whoever gets elected leader, I don't want there to be a constant war going on because but our, our goal is not. What you guys are saying is true and what I'm saying is true. We don't want SP to just get ruined by war. We want it to progress, right? So, question how you guys are speaking for the team when your leader isn't even here. Well, I don't know what happened happen to him okay yeah. all right i think i think we're good you know I'm, I'm gonna give like two more minutes for people to put in votes and yeah we're just gonna just gonna do our thing the thing goes on for ages and believe it or not this is actually a recap of everything that happened but i did want to add one last thing the leader of team scythers reef wanted to join the vc as well just for a bit what's up um i'd like to start off by saying that milo saying 100% cap they came to our base earlier today and we were just mm -hmm. defending ourselves first of all milo, i like to address something you make your uh, members call you your majesty isn't that kind of like no one does that when have i ever done that different bro you oh, gotta yeah, okay okay okay, okay. Have, so melo's nickname is king melo but no no one ever calls Everyone him King Mello. It's a joke, bro. Um, <laughs> oh, you know. When you were in your Discord, your Majesty. And apparently, they do have to call you that to be accepted. Could, could you provide proof? Like, no one has ever said that. Exactly. No proof, bro. Unfortunately, I cannot Can you pick this dude off the stage? Typical Scyther encounter, man. Wow, and now I'm being censored. I'm being by that dictation. A lot of the claims involved him, and I feel bad not having him. Yeah, that's fair. His side. Basically, Solstice came to our base. Like, we, we didn't do anything. We were just, like, vibing, yeah? We, like, yeah, we had a bit of beef going on. But they, they were, they, they escalated. They started claiming our territories and started to, uh, destroy all the stuff we'd been doing. They DDoSed me because my, my router just so happened to stop working for an extended period of time. After a huge back and forth that was honestly pretty heated, Mello ended up winning the election. Yeah. I wonder if they made the right choice. An election of this sort can either make or break the SMP, because they also have the ability to change things like game rules and mechanics. The Scythers and Solstice weren't too happy about this, so they began to vet some members in order to find where Team Legion is now based. This is Team Scythers invading Team White Knight's base of operations in order to find out some more information about Team Legion's whereabouts. I think they're planning on assassinating the king. Marie was also there too, and her chicken was in a boat. It was killed in the crossfire. Not too long after, and bandits started emerging in the town. Pumpkin, which is a member of Potato Town, which was a new town that formed in front of the bridge by spawn, reported a French guy being a criminal. After talking to the French guy, I realized that the bandits don't see themselves as the bad guy. They actually see themselves as the good guys in their story. Some were opposed to Mello being the new king, but the majority wanted to see what he could build. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see till the next 
Phoenix Fantasy SMP Simulation. This was super fun to host, and I'm planning on making this a bit of a series on my channel. So if you'd like to support this sort of series, consider subscribing. It means the world to me. Also, if you want to join the civilization yourselves, join our Discord server in the description below, where you can find the IP.